Hi there, welcome back to Diablo. I'm Barrel, and as you can see, I'm now playing on Hellfire difficulty. No, uh, on Nightmare difficulty. And you know, in the first run of Diablo, we missed a few quests because um, they're random. Yeah, you know that you have a, a, a pool of quests, and the game chooses several of those quests in a, in a playthrough for you. But you don't get all the quests in one playthrough, so you have to play several times. You want to get all the quests, and now I'm I intend on showing you the quests that we're still missing. So we got a new one, the Curse of King Leoric. I just got that from Ogden. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albert, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day. Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. Okay, we got a new quest, and of course we can ask people Whoa, about it. What can I do for you? I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. I even crafted a huge two-handed sword of the finest mithril for him, as well as a field crown to match. I still cannot believe how he died, but it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light, as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. What do you have to say, Farnham? Can't a fellow drink in peace? Apparently not. I don't care about that. Listen, no skeleton is gonna be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king! Baby. What ails you, my friend? The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. But perhaps, if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. And of course, once you've completed Diablo, uh, you get the direct entrances to, uh, you know, the sub-levels. Uh at right at the beginning of the game. Oh, hi. That's Jillian. Good day. How may I serve you? I don't like to think about how the king died. I like to remember him for the kind and just ruler that he was. His death was so sad and seemed very wrong somehow. All right. Uh, here's the entrance to the caves. Not that we've been there yet. Over here. Look, I am running a business here. I don't sell information, and I don't care about some king that's been dead longer than I've been alive. If you need something to use against this king of the undead, then I can help you out. So, what do you have? A ruby amulet of the heavens. Resist fire plus 55 plus 15 to all attributes. What do we have? Ah, that resists all. Nope. I want something that is made of obsidian, my friend. Not just ruby. 
Obsidian amulet of the heavens. That's what I'm looking for. So, let's see what Adri has to say. And I still have the equipment that I got from the first run. Didn't find anything. I mean, I mean, I'm in the first and the second level now. I sense a soul in search of answers. The dead who walk among the living follow the cursed king. He holds the power to raise yet more warriors for an ever-growing army of the undead. If you do not stop his reign, he will surely march across this land and slay all who still live here. We can't have that, can we? Okay, so we'll, I will pause the video now and turn it back on once we have reached the domain of King Eroic. Oh wait, before we go to King Eroic, there's something I want to show you. So, we are on level 2 now. Nightmare. You know, I just came back to the level and this is where the Butcher lives in. And um, as you can see, we didn't change much here. But now on level 26, even though we're playing on Nightmare, the Butcher is very easy. <sighs> Fresh meat! <coughs> Boom. The spirits of the dead are now avenged. I know. And now we're on level 3. And that here is the entrance to King Lyric's tomb. So, let's go in there. The warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> okay. If you think that's funny. We'll see who has the last laugh. Oh, a nice axe. I can't carry any more. Really? How about that? Level up, baby. So, yeah, let's go for vitality. And inventory is not... Well, yeah, it's almost full. So I guess we could use a town portal. Here. I gotta go now, sorry. And leave. Anything to identify? Yeah, but we don't have an identifier. No. Spell. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Hail of the night. Minus 20% to light radius. That's probably well, worth one gold coin or something. Yeah, shit. And I'm using the oil of accuracy here on you. What did it do? Shouldn't it increase the damage or something? Oh well, doesn't matter. Well, what can I do for you? I didn't pay what attention, you, and friend? it's not important. I sense a soul in search of answers. Don't need potions of healing. The rest is good. Drop some money and move on. of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. You already <laughs> said that. Oh, hi. He keeps repeating himself. Oh, what's that? A lever.
Oh, I didn't hit you. Well, now I did. Oh! What's that? A chest! With things in it. I like that very much. Oh, we already destroyed that, okay. There's a crucified skeleton. Gotta destroy that. Oh well. Let's go for King Leoric. He raises skeletons. Well, that didn't Restore do much good. Leoric. I'll find your son. Yep, rest well, Leoric. We will. Well, we already already found your son, actually. Uh, yeah. He's not in the best condition. Oh, what else is lying around here? A short sword. So yeah, King Leoric. Piece of cake right now. This will maybe, this will change in, in hell. But the nightmare? Oh hey, I overlooked that. Yep, Tom Bottle, I'll take that. And we have another passage here. Oh really? Oh yeah, like hell. That may be a nuisance for a melee fighter, but not for a ranged one. Any loot here? Yes. Oh, chests. No chest here. Oh, no, yes, there is a chest here. I can't carry any more. Don't be such a sissy. Where is it? Can we identify something? No. Let's see what we have here. More skeletons. Hell yes. Oh, three chests actually. I can't carry any more. Yes, you can. Okay. Another book. Book of Holy Bolts. And we pick up the dagger and... Where was it? Okay. Mace. We have to come back for the Staff of Holy Bolt. And as you can see, that was the quest of King Leoric. We just had to slay him. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. <sighs> Bronze save of dexterity, cloak of dexterity, bow of devastation, occasional triple damage, mm -hmm. the undead crown, sword of zest, mace of vitality, and uh, dagger of quality. What does the crown do? Life stealing, armor class 8. Okay. Uh, nothing compared to the Veil of Steel. 
Well, what can I do for you? Do you have anything nice to buy? No. Okay, so I showed you the quest of King Eric. We'll see what the game comes up with next. And once you slew King Lyric, put into rest, Ogna actually has to say something about it. The curse of our king is past, but I fear that it was only part of a greater evil at work. However, we may yet be saved from the darkness that consumes our land, for your victory is a good omen. May light guide you on your way, good master. You're welcome. And now we're on level 7. We're still in nightmare mode. And as you can see, here is that area that we can't get into. If you want to get in into that area, you need to activate a special quest. This one. Book of the Blind. That it gives you the quest. I can see what you see not. Vision milky, then eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone. Whispering their hidden song. Then you see what cannot be. Shadows move where light should be. Out of darkness, out of mind. Cast down into the halls of the blind. And as you can see, now there are doors here. Of course we could also ask the town people what they know about this quest. Do I have a town portal? Yeah. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. I never much cared for poetry. Occasionally I had calls to hire minstrels when the inn was doing well, but that seems like such a long time ago now. What? Uh, oh, yes, uh, well, I suppose you could see what someone else knows. Yeah, we should do that. Good day. How may I serve you? If you have questions about blindness, you should talk to Pepin. I know that he gave my grandmother a potion that helped clear her vision, so maybe he can help you too. I don't think you're getting the point, but okay. Come on. Psst, over here. Let's see, am I selling you something? No. Are you giving me money to tell you about this? No. Are you now leaving and going to talk to the storyteller who lives for this kind of thing? Yes. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> he actually has a point here. Yeah. No. no, we're not going down to hell yet. What ails you, my friend? This does seem familiar somehow. I seem to recall reading something very much like that poem while researching the history of demonic afflictions. It spoke of a place of great evil that... Wait, you're not going there, are you? Mm, well, since it seems to be on my way... Can a fellow drink in peace? Apparently not. Oh dear. <laughs> That's pretty funny, huh? Get it? Mind? Look here! <laughs> oh, damn. You're ludicrous. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. You recite an interesting rhyme written in a style that reminds me of other works. Let me think now. What was it? Darkness shrouds the hidden, eyes glowing unseen, with only the sounds of razor claws briefly scraping to torment those poor souls who have been made sightless for all eternity. The prison for those so damned is named the Halls of the Blind. Okay, now we know much more. Ooh, Grand Play, plus 51 armor. Is it better than the one we have? 125. 
No, it's not better. I see, I have an armor set of armor now. It gives me a plus 8 to magic too. But and an armor class of 74. Oh, yeah. Not Whoa, bad. What can I do for you? Oh, wait. What do you have to say? Wow, what can I do for you? I'm afraid that I've neither heard nor seen a place that matches your vivid description, my friend. Perhaps Cain the Storyteller could be of some help. Not much, actually, but thanks. Yeah, and I have some money again. I sense a soul in search of answers. Uh, Oh no, start with Town Portal and scroll off Mana Shield and scroll off Nova and Stone Cars. Yeah, that's good. Cool. This is a place of great anguish and terror, and so serves its master well. Tread carefully, or you may yourself be staying much longer than you had anticipated. Oh, come on. Nothing new. I mean, hey, Rekordorian is a level 27 rogue. I'm pretty sure she can handle whatever the blind throw against her. Okay. So, I think we should use a teleport to speed things up. And as you can see, there's an entry now. Two entrants, actually. Um, heal, just in case. Hi. <laughs> Illusion Weavers. That's quite powerful, actually. Okay. That surprised me somewhat. Good thing caps lock wasn't activated. Ha ha ha. Oh hi. Yeah. They can they try to cloak on you. That's the optic M. Oh, hi. I want to pick up the optic amulet if it's all the same to you. And as you can see, the quest is gone now. Alright. Let's take a look at that optic amulet. Uh, first, we need a few potions again. What ails you, my friend? That actually was the first time. And uh, I mean, we've been on, I've been on level seven now, and this is nightmare. But it actually is the first time I was in real trouble. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Um, both puncturing penetrates targets armor. Yeah, not as good as the one we have, right? Thirty-one to forty-seven. 
boo. And I can wear my armor now because I need the strength. I eject stuff of town portal, stuff of phasing, and that is the optic amulet. Plus 20% light radius assists lightning, plus 20% minus 1 damage from enemies, plus 5 to magic. Uh, not as good as the one we have, but that's the you know reward you get. Wow, well, what can I do for you? Solving that quest. Okay, so that was the quest, the Horns of the Blind. And here's something else I want to show you. We're on level eight now, and here's an enchanted shrine. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of spells. We can actually even have a blood star. So, well, if we would use that shrine, it would say, well, take a look at that. That's the level one. If we use the shrine, it says, magic is not always what it seems to be. And now all our spells are increased by one. But the bad thing is, all of a sudden, we can't use not that enough spell. mana. Not enough mana. We can't use Batsta anymore. It's not a question of mana. Uh, 18 mana, we have 18 mana. We have more. But we don't have enough magic to actually use uh, a Bloodstar of the second level. I guess that's it. That's why the game goes down to zero. The question is now, if I would buy another Bloodstar, would I be then be able to reset Bloodstar to one or not? I mean, it's good. Every level has been increased. Of every spell, can't use Bloodstar anymore. Let me check that. Okay, and here we are. Um, next to Adria. Bloodstar level zero. That was a Bloodstar thingy. Uh, now it's down to level 1 again. Okay. So that I lost 27,500 gold, I guess, in the process. So I, I don't really know why that happens. I mean, it's good to get all the spells upgraded one level. Uh, but, I, but I don't know why I lose Bloodstar. Maybe it is because I'm not... I don't have enough magic to raise that to the next level but then again I also don't have enough magic to raise teleport to the next level and that was not eliminated I have no idea what happened to the blood star here but now I have it again okay so that's what I wanted to show you and now we're on level 13 still playing on nightmare difficulty and here we have a steel tome the armories of hell are home to the warlord of blood. In his wake lay the mutilated bodies of thousands. Angels and man alike have been cut down to fulfill his endless sacrifices to the Dark Ones, who scream for one thing. Blood. Blood. Okay, let's see what the townsfolk have to say to that quest. What ails you, my friend? Cain would be able to tell you much more about something like this than I would ever wish to know. Can't a fellow drink in peace? Apparently not. Always you gotta talk about blood. What about flowers and sunshine? And that pretty girl that brings the drinks. Listen here, friend. You're obsessive, you know that? <laughs> okay, Kane, what do you have to add? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I know of only one legend that speaks of such a warrior as you describe. His story is found within the ancient chronicles of the Sin War. Stained by a thousand years of war, blood, and death. The Warlord of Blood 
stands upon a mountain of his tattered victims. His dark blade screams a black curse to the living, a tortured invitation to any who would stand before this executioner of hell. It is also written that although he was once a mortal who fought beside the Legion of Darkness during the Sin War, he lost his humanity to his insatiable hunger for blood. But he's no vampire, right? Well, what can I do for you? Oh yeah, I got some different equipment now. I have a, a ruthless bow of the heavens now. It's a short war bow, and I have a different plate, blessed plate of the stars. Armor 41, plus 94% uh, and plus 10 to all attributes. Oh wait, I should ask you. Well, what can I do for you? Dark and wicked legend surrounds the one warlord of blood. Be well prepared, my friend, for he shows no mercy or quarter. Neither do I. Or does Reckle. And as you can see, we have hit the cap in Vitality 2, it is 80. My dexterity has gone up to 97 till now. Rogue, uh, Reckle Darien is a level 29 rogue right now. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. I'm afraid that I haven't heard anything about such a vicious warrior, good master. I hope that you do not have to fight him, for he sounds extremely dangerous. I'm afraid we have to fight him. Good day! If you are to battle such a fierce opponent, may light be your guide and your defender. I will keep you in my thoughts. Oh, that gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling. Psst! Over here! Amulet is a zodiac, plus 60 to all attributes. Nah, I want something that gives me protection as well, Psst. my friend. Over here! I haven't ever dealt with this warlord you speak of, but he sounds like he's going through a lot of sword. Wouldn't mind supplying his armies. He's one of the bad guys, man. We don't want to supply him. And I have a lot of money now. I'm just keeping it, you know, just in case I run across I sense a soul in uh, an item I wanna buy. His prowess with the blade is awesome, and he has lived for thousands of years knowing only warfare. I am sorry. I cannot see if you will defeat him. We shall see. Do you have something to sell? No. Then buy a potion of full mana. And that's it. Didn't get any new spells though. See? Still the same. But I upped Blood Star to level 2. <laughs> Not that it does me any good. Okay, here comes the. F oh no, I didn't use the Tom Portal. I came through the gap. Here comes the fun part. Uh, the Warlord of Blood is powerful. So let's buff. Reflect. Mana shield. Fine. Oh, hi. Several chests. And Reckon knows. Oh, that's one of the traps. Reckon knows all about chests. Scroll feeling. Oh, hi. Shoot. Yeah, I have to save a lot. This is, this is rather difficult. I'd rather not fight several of those at once. But I'm afraid I can't help it.
So, I think the Warlord of Blood is in here. Let's kill his friends first. Yeah. See? Lots of weapon racks and armor stands here. Very useful. No, oh, awesome. I thought I would. Mm. Well, screw it. <sighs> At least we can see now. <coughs> Better. <coughs> oh. So they have 370 hit points. They're immune to fire and resistant to magic and blood. They are quite powerful. Careful. Okay, save. You. You are dead. I hate you. Die. Here, do we have potions? Not really. Bring up another mana shield. Oh! Go! I don't want to shoot in there. You never know what you arouse. Okay, I think we got it all now. Here comes the fun part. Oh, hi. I didn't see you. Huh. Oh, hi. Let's see who comes. Steel Lord. Just a regular steel lord? Okay, that's not really much. I'm pretty sure that there are more monsters. My blade sings for your blood, mortal. And by my dark masters it shall not be denied. Approaching the rogue in a straight line is a stupid idea. Oh fuck it. Your reign of pain has ended. That's right. Ha 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 ha! Slew him! It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Yeah, come on. I know you want it. Oh shit! That was a mistake. Get the fuck away. Level up, baby. Yes. We can only put things into dexterity right now. Level 30. Yay. Oh shit, going in there was not a good decision. <laughs> but we managed. Somehow we managed. It's important to get your mana shield back up again so you can use your mana as a health extension. Anybody else without a ticket here? No, I think we got it now. We get lots of nice things here. Now where would I put this? That is a good question, my girl. Maybe we should leave. Where is Tom Portal here? Oh.
Let's see what we got equipment wise. What ails you, my friend? I could use a another potion if it's all the same to you. Thank you. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. So what did we get? Um Garnet plate, resist fire plus forty-two, jade staff of town portal. Jade plate mail. Resist all plus twenty one. But only an armor of forty five. I mean that I mean uh it maxes out that. That's nice, but armor class goes down from one hundred thirty five to ninety nine. That's not good enough, I'm sorry. Well, what can I do for you? I sense a soul in search of answers. Nothing that we don't already have. Yeah, that is a gold farm if you want. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got. And here we can down, go down to level 14. Gothic plate. So that's all. Nothing else lying around here. No, it doesn't look like. Okay, so we leave again. And here's the exit to the town. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. So, um, brutal acts of the vampires, damage to the 10 plus 40, 84 damage, percent damage, and steals 5% mana. Both sorcery plus 17 to magic. Platinum club, chance to hit plus 35. And an armor plate. Uh, if it's of the ages, it's, it's always indestructible, but uh, only has an armor class of 57. Not nearly enough. 17. I don't know. I have a s another weapon that increases magic. But I don't know whether it is 17 or higher. It's, I guess we have to take a look at that. It's this one. The bow of sorcery. 19 actually. It's better. It's okay. I'm gonna sell that. You don't have to watch that. That was the Warlord of Blood. And now we are on the fourth level of the crypt. Still, uh, nightmare mode. Rekordorian is a level 32 rogue banner. And we will see what kind of fight um, a cruel puts up during uh, Hellfire. No, not Hellfire. Uh, nightmare. In spirit to sanctum. A difficulty setting. Predictum Otium Could try to use a stone curse on him. What? Who dares disturb a great Nakru? Your life is forfeit, Well, apparently my life is not forfeit, but Stone Curse only worked for a second or something. That's not really worth it. Did we get everything? Yeah, I think we got everything. No, there's the Book of Apocalypse still in here. Okay, time to leave.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What did we get? King Sword, 10 to 20 damage. Plus 76 to hit, plus 160% damage. It's a good weapon for a warrior. Fine Staff of Inferno. To hit, plus 10%, plus 41% damage. That's not so nice. Bow of Vigor. We have a better one. Okay, so we sell all that, but I can't read the Book of Apocalypse. Well, what can I do for you? Um, I think I repaired that stuff too, but that's not a biggie. I actually have enough money. Let's see whether we can scribe that now. Just in case you're wondering, I have 160,000 gold lying here. I sense a soul in search of answers. Well, it's 200,000 now. Okay, pick up all that stuff. Yes! So apparently the maximum magic that I can get is 169. And now we even have the Apocalypse spell. Where is it? Here. Awesome. Okay. You cannot pass. And we're about to finish the Nightmare Mode now. As you can see, Rekal Dorian is a level 33 rogue now. She has a dexterity of 155. I'm carrying 115,000 gold coins. Inventory is almost full. I don't have any new equipment as you can see. So let's say hi to Diablo. Hi, remember me? We already met. Not enough mana. Oh shit, I'm afraid we gotta go. Again. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? Okay, so we put that on F7, that on F8. I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh well, that was Diablo in Nightmare Mode. Now I'm playing in Hell difficulty. Not much has changed though, Reckle Dorian is still level 33 rogue. Uh, up to dexterity somewhat more. Uh, but I think we didn't encounter that tome yet, the Great Conflict. 
take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. There is a war that rages on even now, beyond the fields that we know, between the utopian kingdoms of the high heavens and the chaotic pits of the burning hells. This war is known as the Great Conflict, and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. That's an aspect of Diablo 1 that I really like, how you get information, you know, background information on the whole setting uh, via those tomes. That's very, very nice and uh, intriguing way to tell the story, I think. And now we're still in level 4, playing in Hell difficulty, and we have a new character here, Garbot the Weak. Um, that is a quest if you want, but it's l labeled as a quest, although I would say it's not really a quest, you don't really have to do much. But yeah, theoretically speaking, it is a quest that we did not encounter yet. Please, no hurt, no kill, keep alive, and next time good bring to you. Okay, so see, now we have a quest. Please, no hurt, no... But, um... You know, the, the townspeople don't really have to say anything to that. Something for you, I am making. Again, not kill Garbod. Live and give good. You take this as proof, I keep word. Okay, we got a longbow. Oh no, a short bow actually. Okay, it's the only magic item I have except of that ring here. And then you have to leave again till he vanishes from the screen, and then you can return to him. Nothing yet. Almost done. Very powerful. Very strong. Live, live. No pain. And promise I keep. Okay. Let's see what else you got. This too good for you. Very powerful. You want, you take. And he starts attacking. But I'm I guess... not impressed. Yeah, I'm not impressed either. But I guess we take your stuff anyway. Do we have a town portal? No. Let's see what we got. And the quest is gone now, see. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. So that's a gold bow of the maiming, chance to hit plus 22. Adds 3 points of damage. That's really nothing at that point. And flail of skill plus 9 to dexterity. That's not too fancy either. Okay, so that was the Garbot, the weak quest. And here on level 8, we find another tome The Wages of Sin are War. Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. When the eternal conflict between the high heavens and the burning hells falls upon mortal soil, it is called the Sin War. Angels and demons walk amongst humanity, in disguise, fighting in secret, away from the prying eyes of mortals. Some daring, powerful mortals have even allied themselves with either side and helped to dictate the course of the Sin War. Cool. And now we're on level 12. Still in Hell difficulty and we have another tome here. The Tale of the Horadrim. Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. Nearly 300 years ago, it came to be known that the three prime evils of the Burning Hells had mysteriously come to our world. The three brothers ravaged the lands of the East for decades, while humanity was left trembling in their wake. Our order, the Horadrim, was founded by a group of secretive magi to hunt down and capture the three evils once and for all. 
The original Haradrim captured two of the three within powerful artifacts known as Soul Stones and buried them deep beneath the desolate eastern sands. The third evil escaped capture and fled to the west with many of the Haradrim in pursuit. The third evil, known as Diablo, the Lord of Terror, was eventually captured, his essence set in a soul stone and buried within this labyrinth. Be warned that the soul stone must be kept from discovery by those not of the faith. If Diablo were to be released, he would seek a body that is easily controlled, as he would be very weak, perhaps that of an old man or a child. So that is how the background history of Diablo is explained to you via those tomes. I, I think that's, that's very cool. It's, it's sad though that you don't get those tomes in every run. Uh, I didn't get it in, in normal, I didn't get it in Nightmare, I just got them in Hell, but I don't think it has something to do with the difficulty, it's probably just random. And I think that's a really cool way to tell the background story. And the whole thing about Horado is very fascinating, and it's a shame that uh, Diablo 2 actually could not, at least in my eyes, live up to the expectations story-wise um, that uh, Diablo 1 generated. So now we're on level 3 of the nest. Uh, Rekaldorian is level 36, Rogue uh, Dexterity is up to 239. I bought a lot of elixirs of Dexterity. There's not much I can do with money. So I buy those elixirs and yeah, it's gonna be maxed out soon. We're still playing on Hell. Just to show you the difference. I thought there was a chest here, it's empty. So here we have Fortune, it dies easily. And here we have the Hawk Demon. He's a cake. Did you drop something? Yeah. What did you drop? An amulet, apparently. Something else lying around? No. Okay, see the Hawk Demon on hell. Piece of cake. So now we ventured one level deeper into the nest, we're on level 4 now. Uh, still hell. And I maxed out dexterity. I bought enough elixirs of dexterity to get that to 250, so all the stats are gold now. That means when Rekel levels, she will only get 2 hit points and 2 mana points out of that. But I will now show you that the file are on hell difficulty. I smell your terror, and I hunger. It's not that difficult, actually. Uh -huh. Anybody else without a ticket? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Sneaking up on me doesn't work. Okay, that was the defiler on hell. Okay, we're on the fourth level of the crypt, and since we're playing on health, let's see whether we can actually defeat Necril without weakening him first. Out of my way, wretched human! Retribution calls for evil you call Diablo! We we were able to I do can't it. can't carry any more. No shit, really. Book of Apocalypse. Haha, <laughs> 213. <laughs> not gonna happen, my friends. Not gonna happen. I actually didn't have, you know, the patience and time to listen to his words. But well, we killed not cruel. Great. Okay, we are in Lazarus Lair, in the Hell Mode. Rekaldarian is a level 38 rogue, so let's say hi to Lazarus. Abandon your 
foolish quest. All that awaits you is the wrath of my master. You are too late to save the child. Now you will join him in hell. Okay, he's Your dead. madness ends here, betrayer. Not enough mana. Shit. That's the problem. They do a lot of damage, those girls. Holy moly. And shields up. Okay. Oh. So did we get everything? Apparently. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's hell for you, man. They deal out a lot of damage in a very short time. But we survived. So, yeah, Lazarus is down for the count. Next stop, Diablo. And here we are, on the final level, in hell, in the hell difficulty, and we are facing Diablo now. That, my friends, was Diablo in the Hell difficulty. Yes! And here we have the final quest, the one that is still missing. We are on level 8. This is my second run on Hell difficulty. And here we have Tsar the Mad. This one eluded us. What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> Here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. And what did we get? A book of healing. Yeah, but the problem is I need a magic of 192 because I already upped healing to the 14th level. As you can see, I mean, I had lots of money and since um, the stats are already maxed out, so I used a lot of money to up my spells, not that I'm using many of them anyway. I mean I use Reflect, Warp every now and then. Mana Shield is useful. Well, of course the search every now and then and healing and the town portal. That's pretty much all we use. What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> Here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. Okay, maybe we have to leave again. And come back. I know that he turns hostile once if you take a book of his, but maybe... Uh, your curiosity will be the death of you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Yeah, you probably did. So if you talk to him a second time, or if you take his books, then um, he turns hostile. Not a biggie. I mean, it's not a real big quest. Uh, the townsfolk don't have anything to say about that. But yeah, now we've seen all the quests that are in Diablo 1. It's a really fun game. Um, Old-fashioned uh, roguelike. 
And as chance would have it, we have been playing a rogue. Rakaldarion is level 38. All stats have been maxed out. I changed the equipment somewhat. I found a top pass amulet of the eagle. That also has resist all plus 13 and it gives me additional 27 hit points. Nothing too fancy. I didn't get anything that is made of obsidian. At least not ring or amulet wise. I found a bow of obsidian. Obsidian gives you resistance to all and a quite, you know, quite a high amount of resistance. But the bow was shitty, didn't do enough damage. This one is quite nice. And we have the saintly plate of vigor. An amber ring. Well, it would have been nice if it would have been an obsidian ring. And still have the ring of the zodiac. I didn't even find the ring of the zodiac plus 20. But I uh, didn't bother to buy it. I mean, plus one doesn't make much of a difference at that point anyhow. So, that was the bonus video of Diablo. I'm pretty positive that I got all the quests now. And I showed you at least the main monsters in Nightmare and in Hell difficulty. So yeah, Reckle is now pretty able to survive on her own. I mean, it really depends. Um, there are several monsters in, in Hell difficulty that you would not survive a second hit. You just take one. But then again, uh, with the bow, you I mean, as the rogue, you have to keep them at a distance. And if they gang up on you, you run away and start shooting again. It, it, it works. It really works. And, you know, 304 life is not too much, but if you have a mana shield, you can add the mana to your life. Then it, yeah, it's pretty doable. Actually, I think the first run on normal is the most difficult one. I mean, okay, uh, in, in, hell, in Nightmare and in Hell, the monsters are tougher, but so is the player character. And I think if you start at level 1 in normal, I mean, the trouble you have with the Butcher, for instance, you never have that on Hell or Nightmare. Yeah, I think it actually is maybe because in the beginning of the game, the player is just so weak. That's really, that's the difference. The monsters become stronger, but so does the player. And that's why I think on Hellfire and Hell, uh, normal and um, Nightmare and Hell, it's... But at least on average, it's not as difficult. There are a few monsters that, you, that are really tricky. But, uh, well, you saw how I, you know, duked uh, Nacril in Nightmare and Hell. He was... <laughs> nothing. He was much more powerful compared to the weaker character in normal. Anyhow, that, my friends, was the Let's Play of Diablo. I thank you very much for watching and wish you a pleasant day. Goodbye.